Okay guys, so I figured I'd do a little video right now just to kind of introduce the two RC crawlers that I have going on right now. So to the left of course is the Axial SCX-10 III, the Jeep Rubicon, right in the regular Rubicon J JLU. And to the right is the SCX-10 II, the trail honcho. So I got the 10.3 initially, <clears throat> which is this one right here. Um, brand new to the RC world, you know, it was a nice, really great running car um, stock. And I wanted to do some aesthetics customizations. So I got that roof rack right there and, you know, some of the accessories on there. What I didn't realize was this car was top heavy, I guess known to be top heavy to begin with adding this metal roof rack on there with all the accessories just um, made it really hard for this car to run on anything with a hill. So I started to do research on the car and found that you're supposed to do lower CG weights. So with this particular car, uh, the modifications are of course the aesthetics purposes on here, the roof rack, the driver was painted, there's a baby Yoda, oops I guess he fell away so um, it has aluminum bump front bumpers with the tow hooks. It's got a working winch with an actual the winch right here. Uh, down here you'll see uh, the brass steering knuckles. I have the trio brass uh, differential cover right here. I haven't swapped it out yet, so it's something I need to do um, in just a bit as well. In here, you'll see I have the shocks. These are uh, Yaw Racing Desert Lizard internal uh, dual stage, internal dampening shocks. I'm running 60 weight oil in them. In the front right here, though, I do. I am, the oil is only about maybe half filled, uh, just because the uh, I didn't need it to be that stiff. So I'm, I'm going to change that out to something different later on. I'm also running bead locks right here. Okay. Um, the Proline Hyrax. This is the Predator compound. It also has the Proline dual stage foam inserts on the inside. Okay. Um, the stainless steel side skirt bars. Sorry about that. <coughs> so here we go. It's got the hot racing body clips replaced out right here. was done on this car in the front just making sure I didn't miss anything else in the front right here okay um, it's got the aluminum right here um, rear bumper okay. and the shocks of course are tuned in the back as well um, one other thing it has is it is a little bit wider so it has 15 millimeter axle extend, uh, extender that was one of probably one of my biggest upgrades was just to help the rollover rate right, right there. So I did weigh this car down heavily. There's also a nickel metal battery in there that helps power this winch. Um, so this car is about 12 pounds. So it's pretty damn heavy. Okay. And it's also, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's, it's pretty decent for what you know what it is right here. It can climb a lot of stuff. A lot of the things I, I kind of throw at it, it just obliterates. So um, I wanted to get something a little bit more basic, bare boned. Um, that doesn't have like the portal axles that this one has, the dig function that this car comes with. I just want something more bare bone, just kind of challenge myself. Uh, which I got the trail hunch hole. And you can see down here, it doesn't have the portal axles. This is all still plastic right here. Um, Originally, I had stated that this car was not going to get any modifications other than the stock tires that the Jeep came with, just because they were a little wider than the trail honcho. Um, but that changed quickly. I mean, anybody who gets into RC crawlers can, I guess, can kind of vouch and say that this is a, kind of an addiction when you start modifying one. You want to go with more. So I do like the Desert Lizard. Um, chocks so I decided to go with these as well I did make them a little higher so this is a hundred millimeter so the car is a little bit more raised um, the trio bead locks 
I also went with the Pro Line uh, Hyrax. However, I went with the GA compound on this one. I don't need something that high scale. <clears throat> This is the DSM Integrated Rapid Recovery System. This was actually originally for the Jeep. Um, however, the Jeep has a winch on here um, and doesn't really have room for that. So the honcho inherited. He also, the honcho has the hot racing body clips. Um, I switched out the suspension links. Let me just kind of pull this off. Then. Because I, I do do some rock climbing, so I put um, the uh, these uh, aluminum side sl uh, rock sliders. I didn't go with stainless steel on this one. I didn't want the heavy weight, so this one to be weighted down. Um, I switched the plastic suspension links out to aluminum, so all four are aluminum, and it has 15 millimeter uh, wheel hub extend the axle extenders as well. Uh, other than that, this car really doesn't have anything else. Oh, my apologies. Both vehicles do have their steering servos swapped out. Uh, I am running the Eco Power 120T or P, uh, 25 torque, um, along with the 25 torque uh, servo arm swapped out as well. Um, now, when I run these cars on the trail, not necessarily on the course, and the rocky areas I've been climbing at the main difference is both cars run differently this one's left the Jeep is really heavy uh, it seems to take the the hill climbs much easier just because it has a lot more weight on the front and it kind of helps with that grasping it's not to say that the honcho can do it the honcho is very capable um, it's a lighter vehicle so it just takes different uh, uh, I guess different driving styles to clear the same obstacle um, but overall, I'm really happy with both vehicles. I believe the Jeep, because it's much lighter, I kind of want to switch the oil out. Right now, it's still running the 60 uh, weight oil in both front and rear. Um, I kind of want to switch them out to maybe 30, maybe 40 weight. I'm not sure yet, so I'll experiment with that a little bit. One other key difference that I wanted to experiment with the Honcho um, is that a lot of folks compared to the Proline dual stage foam inserts, they were trying out the, the little donut hair bun uh, that ballerinas use. So I have the, they're inside this car. Um, and I gotta tell you right now, they're pretty damn good. Um, uh, I don't necessarily know compared to the dual stage because I, I can't, I don't know. I, I, it's still hard for me to tell, but I mean, these are definitely way more expensive. You're talking about you know, $40 for the set versus $15 for the set here. So um, if you don't want to break the bank and you want something, some good nice performance, go with this donut hair bun thing. You can buy them on Amazon. Now the large seems to work uh, nicely for the 1.9s. Okay, let me just go to the side right here. side view of the vehicle. Now um, the honcho is still running stock, sir, uh, the stock ESC and also the stock uh, was at the receiver. So I, because I, I want to be able to play with a friend, um, that's why also I had a second car. So I kept it with the little stubby. Originally I wanted to switch it out to the five channel um, receiver that I got extra with the uh, rugged and just use it with one of my other you know, the, what is that? those free RTR remote, uh, spectrum remotes that comes with it. However, I like that stubby. It's just kind of, it's kind of cool. Okay. And the Jeep is bound up to the rugged, uh, the Spectrum DX5 rugged. Um, this right here is its winch control. Okay. Um, so that's pretty much it. And that's, I'm going to have some of some collage and my some photos of these cars in action uh, so i hope you enjoyed this video um and this is basically my entry into the rc crawler world uh, hopefully this stops right here because i've already invested way too much damn money into these <laughs> more, more than some of my airplanes already okay bye now